Saturday's trip against uh, Sale resulted in a bonus point loss for the side. Now, from a distance, the game seemed like it was um, fairly back and forth. But what was the initial emotions in the dressing room after the game? I think initially um, disappointment because uh, we went up there thinking if we put a performance in, um, that was near our capabilities that we would have come away with a good with a with a win. Obviously, we didn't do that. Um, through, the, through the kind of that middle part of the field, we struggled with, which we spoke about as a group at the end. Um, so yeah, initial initial dis disappointment really. Um, I think afterwards we just sort of focused on sort of you know getting back home, getting back to process. Uh, there wasn't really much um, said at that time. It was sort of a you know uh, have a you know sort of good bus trip back. Um, it's a long trip, um, and then basically we talked about it more on Monday and on Tuesday in the groups together. Um, it was just a case of it was it was our mistakes that let them into it. We put a lot of double errors on, um, and they capitalised on the chances. So they took the chances when they were given, um, and yeah, uh, just we just made a lot of mistakes, which they capitalised on. Yeah. Now, how important for you uh, as the head coach is it to ensure that that result were, was just a blip, essentially, and that you know those same mistakes don't carry through into Saturday against Blackheath. I think we've kind of tried to stay on an even keel, kind of emotionally about the about whether we win or lose. That there are some, some things we can definitely learn out of the game, and there's some things we definitely did really well in the game that we can look to repeat as often as possible. Um, uh, but in terms of kind of there's, there's no there's no kind of like having to rethink anything. You know, the progression doesn't run in a straight line, and certainly. Um, we will learn from the things that kind of didn't go well in the game, and they'll help us part help us continue to move forward as a team. You know, in the words of Ronan Keating, life's a roller coaster. So um, you know there is dips and troughs, um, but we're still on that path. We're still on that on the roller coaster, still trying to go up. Um, so yeah, it is it is whether now how we bounce back as a team and how we put that performance together on Saturday. Now um, fans will be excited to hear that Herbie Stapple is back in the squad. He'll be on the bench um, against Blackheath. Are you hoping to ensure that he gets minutes on the pitch on Saturday or will it be an in-game decision whether he comes on? Uh, so, so first of all, it's, it's good to have him back, you know, a player of his experience um, and of a guy that's been at the club for so long so it'd be good to see him back out on the field and we'll see how the Saturday goes. Some good news, Herbie Stapple and Dan Pullinger are both back in the squad for the weekend after being out injured. How happy are you to see them back amongst the group uh, and how does it feel how knowing there's that more competition for places? Yeah, I think uh, with Herbie, very happy. With Pulley, not so happy. Um, <laughs> but I mean, on a serious note, um, it's good to have those sorts of guys back in the teams. Um, you know, they are senior players in this group and are very good players in their own right. So um, to have those guys back on the, in the team is going to be a big boost. Um, and again, for competition and spots, um, you know, everyone has to perform. You know, if we're not performing, then you know you're not going to be playing. So it's going to bring everyone's game up. So it's always a good thing. Um, and lastly, the sort of the news earlier in the week was about uh, Connor Skates' uh, new extension to his contract. How happy are you to have a player like him have his future secured with the club? Yeah, it's great. He's managed to we've secured his extension. I think it shows well for the club that a player of his ability uh, wanted to stay around and secure his future with the club. You know, he's played very well um, so far the last few weeks. Um, and it's just a good thing for the club for us to have him around for a little bit longer.